I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. We're on the floor of AES 2006 in San Francisco, and I'm talking with Bruce Bartone from Genelic. How are you? Very well. Good to see you, Joe. Thanks for coming by. Now tell me a little bit about, about the new line of speakers you have coming out. Well, Genelec is showing some DSP products. It's the first uh, in our series ever. Uh, genelec has been around since 1978. We brought active monitoring to the market uh, back at that time. And about nine years ago, we started an initiative with DSP products to try to bring some of the emerging technology to bear on the final part of the problem of monitoring that's been traditionally out of our control, which is the integration of the product, the speaker product, into the environment. Because we don't have any control over people's rooms, we've tried to provide as many useful tools along the way in terms of room response controls to make sure we can get good behavior and neutral referencing out of our products with our traditional 1000 and uh, 8000 series products. About five years ago, we came up with the 8000 series products, which are the MDE Illuminate Cabinet products you see behind me. And uh, while we were developing our DSP initiative, we decided to also begin to use that new foundation and platform to incorporate DSP. Since so many acoustical improvements occurred inside the 8000 series products, we figured we've taken care of the inherent issues associated with the monitor itself. Let us now, instead of correcting what's going on with the monitor, start to address the integration issues of getting the monitor to behave in the room. And what are those integration issues? Well, mostly what we find is that people are working in smaller and smaller rooms, and when you are operating, trying to produce any kind of audio content in a smaller environment, the environment creates a much larger signature on what you're listening to your, from your studio reference monitors than it had previously in a uh, more highly designed and larger space. So consequently, the, these realities being so, people are using smaller and smaller speakers in smaller spaces, and we wanted to be able to now account for all of the early reflections and the other kinds of cancellations that might occur when people are operating and trying to get good reference monitoring out of that. The DSP is so being applied through a function called AutoCal, which allows us to take a calibration microphone, place it at the listening position, and now be able to adjust the performance of the speakers in their space to that listening position to really get ourselves a very neutral response out of the system, something that's predictable and repeatable. Anything else we should know about what you're debuting here at AES? We have a couple of really new products that might be a, a surprise to people who know Genelec. We have two new in-wall and in-ceiling products that are out. They're uh, five-inch active two-way in-wall and in-ceilings that are very good for the commercial uh, installer, screening rooms, home theater environments, personal listening spaces. And we also have behind us a three-way system, which is a, uh, a derivative of our well-known 1037 product. It's a 12-inch three-way product and we reconfigured the cabinet so instead of being a shoebox size cabinet, it is now only seven inches deep and it's about five feet tall and it's also very good for screening rooms and other uh, places where space is very tight but you need to have a prodigious amount of output from your monitor system. All right, thanks very much. From the floor of AES 2006, I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com. Thanks.